Hello and assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Ramadan with E.T. Ramadan Mubarak to all my Muslim indulgers. I hope you've started the holy month on a positive note. Today we are making some spicy tuna pie with some store-bought short crust pastry. Here are all the ingredients and measurements for this recipe. Please go ahead and pause this video and take a screenshot for your convenience. To begin with, I'm going to add some olive oil to a heated pan, followed by some purple and white onions. Saute your onions on low to medium heat before going ahead to add your minced garlic and ginger. Into another pot, I have brought some water to a boil. I'm going to add salt to season it before adding my diced potatoes. I'm going to cook these potatoes until they are tender, but please avoid making them mushy and extremely soft. Once the potatoes are cooked, remove them from the hot water and shock them in some cold water to prevent any carryover cooking. Into your saucepan, you're going to want to add your tuna, the bottom end of your spring onion and some diced carrots. Here I have two Thai chilies, which I'm going to dice and add to the mixture. Continue to bring all these ingredients together and saute on low heat. Add your diced red capsicum and finally your silver beets. You can also use spinach or any other greens of your choice. Now go ahead and add your spices. Today we're adding some salt, black pepper, curry powder and vegetable stock powder. Add your potatoes as well and saute for about one more minute. Here I have a handful of fresh coriander leaves. I'm going to chop these up and add them to the mixture and continue to bring it all together. Once that's done, prepare your cornstarch slurry. Into a small bowl, I've added about a tablespoon of cornstarch followed by some water. We're going to mix these ingredients together until we have a smooth liquid. Add this slurry to the filling mixture and on very low heat, give it a stir until the filling begins to thicken. Once that step is complete, add your filling to a bowl and stir in the remaining sliced spring onion. That is the dark green part of the spring onion. Today we're going to be using some store-bought short crust pastry for our dough. This is a great cheat. It saves you a lot of time from making the dough from scratch, especially when time is of the essence during the month of Ramadan. Once you remove a sheet of short crust pastry, use a round cutter, or in this case, I've used a bowl to shape out your pies. Carefully remove your cutout shapes and go ahead to add your filling to one half of your circle. I find it easier to work with circle shaped pies, but you could definitely be creative with this and play with different shapes. Once you have added a reasonable amount of filling, bring the two sides together and with the aid of your thumb and finger, ensure that the pie is tightly sealed. So with this first folding technique, we're going to use a small fork to go around the edges to give our pie some pattern. This also helps to further secure the pie. With the second folding technique, we're going to create pleats across the side where our two halves have met. Just fold and press, fold and press, and fold and press. Our third folding technique, which is my absolute favorite, is this one here. You're going to cut down some straight lines across one half of the circle. On the other side, you're going to add your filling and then seal both sides together. This technique allows you to see the filling as soon as you see the pie. There is no mystery here. For technique number four, which is our final technique for today, we're going to do something similar to what we did with technique number two. It's similar to the pleats, but I like to call this one my flower pie. It's supposed to resemble flower petals. So once you've secured your pie with your thumbs, you're going to create these petal-like shapes all across the side. 
I would love to know which one of these techniques you like best. Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share it with your friends and family. So once you've cut out all your shapes, you're going to have a bit of dough remaining. We're not going to waste this or throw it out. Just bring it all together and form one whole new dough. Short crust pastry is so fun to work with. It doesn't lose its quality when you re-roll it. So go ahead and portion out your dough so that you can re-roll and make more pies. So go ahead and roll out your dough until it is about two millimeters thick. Cut it with a round cutter just as you did before. And it is that simple. You can use it again and again until you have exhausted all your dough. So here are all the pies we made today. They are ready for baking, but before we put them into the oven to bake, we're going to do one final step. Here I have one whole egg yolk. I'm going to mix this and use a pastry brush to brush over my pies. This is going to give your pie that beautiful, shiny finish. Once you have brushed all your pies with the egg yolk, you can go ahead to use various seeds like poppy seeds or sesame seeds. And today I'm going to add a few sesame seeds on one variety. If you have time to spare, you can keep your pies refrigerated until you're ready to bake them. But usually when it comes to iftar, time is of the essence and everything is done one after the other. And all things have to be done quickly. So today we're going to bake these pies at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Please refer to the instructions on your short crust pastry packaging. This pie goes so well with tamarind juice. Don't forget to check out that recipe on my channel. May Allah grant us his favor and may he accept our deeds. Inshallah, I will see you all soon in the next episode of Ramadan with ET.